It's a new day here at Universal Orlando Resort. As you can see, the Halloween Horror Nights medallion has been removed. Soon, a holiday medallion will grace those archways. But for now, there's so much new cool things going on here at Universal Studios over at Islands of Adventure and in City Walk to show you today. We're going to check out what's new, see how the parks are doing the night after the last night of Halloween Horror Nights. It was last night. We were here. We had so much fun. I'll show you a few clips of that too, but mostly we're going to focus on what's new, what's next, what's coming. Stay up to date. It's like a beautiful windy day today. It's amazing. We're going to start at Universal Studios. I kind of want to have a little bit of a look at how much they've changed overnight with last night being the final night of Halloween Horror Nights, but it ended really late, so past midnight. So I don't know, we'll see how much they've done, but there's more to tell you here. The infrastructure is still up here, but the Halloween Horror Nights neon red lettering is gone. All right, we're here in Hollywood and there are still uh, Demon Queen scare zone props out, but they can easily just roll those away. Got the Scooby Gang out, the Mystery Machine. But I do have an update on Hollywood for you, and it's about the Mega Movie Parade. During Halloween Horror Nights, they were doing the parade during the day at 3, and now the HHN is over. It is back to its time of 5 or 6 p.m. It'll be announced each day or it'll be in the app, but there's more. Oh, Betty Boop is out. She's so cute. When the Mega Movie Parade first debuted, there were a couple of pieces missing. And those two pieces have now debuted and they are now part of the parade. So you can look forward to seeing the Velociraptor enclosure and the Ecto-1, the new Ecto-1 from the new films with the seat that comes out. And yesterday we came out to see that for our first time and it looks so good. So I'm gonna show you that so you can see what it looks like. So yeah, super cool. Oh, the Simpsons just came out. Well, Marge and Homer at least. Oh, they're doing a little dance. How cute is that? We've got a line already. So yeah, that is great that those have been added to the parade. I will give you a little tip. The parade comes out of these gates. If you wanna look at both sides of things, this is a good spot because you can kind of see both, but it'll turn. If you wanna be on the side where you see the extending seat from the Ecto-1, you're gonna wanna be on the right side. And if you wanna see more of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man like pulling and ripping a part of the Ecto-1, you wanna be on the left side. Either way is a great view. There are different things on the floats on both sides to see. So I think it's fun to try to do both if you can, but just a little tip for you. But from here, when it comes out the gates, you can kind of see both sides. A little though, because it's head on. I'm just so happy that both of those floats have debuted. They are so cool and they definitely add a lot and the parade's great. Since we've still got some Halloween Horror Nights decor up here, I just want to take this opportunity to show you a few clips from last night. The last night of Halloween Horror Nights 2024. It was not crowded for the first few hours of the night, but it got more and more so. So we kind of had an early night. We just stayed and did like some of our favorite houses. Goblin's Feast was hands down my number one of the year. The costumes in there and the makeup and the sets were just incredible. They had double and triple scares going on at once. Goblins coming at you from every angle. It was really funny. But my favorite thing about last night was getting to dance with Megan. I just went up to her for a photo. Like, you can go up for a photo. She'll call you up and do a photo. And she told me to turn around. And she said, like, do what I do. And she did, like, her dance. She did her dance. And I was like, I know this dance. I know this dance. Listen, I took that opportunity. And I, I was just hoping that Sam was filming it. I did not know if he was or not. And afterwards, he was like, oh, you wanted pictures, right? Like as a joke. And I was like, oh, yeah, cool, cool, cool. He's like, I'm kidding. I filmed the whole thing. And I was like, amazing. So I'm going to show you that because that was just a moment. That was one of those, like, it's the last night. This just is like the cherry on top of the event. So I hope that you all got to do Halloween Horror Nights this year. And if you didn't, there's always next year, which I'll be excited for, too. But let's keep going because there's so much to see today. Here they come. Make way for the Blues Brothers. I did want to show you here in this window, Earl the Squirrel. Holidays are coming. Madame Baziel presiding over everything going on here in New York. Can you see her? She's looking really like alert and awake right now. Ooh, cool. Maybe she's excited for the holidays. The old Torture Fair 2024 has wrapped up for the year. We still got a few signs up here. The stage too. This is probably a massive undertaking to wrap up and put away. It's kind of cool to still see it though. 
for another day or so. But what I did want to show you is the Halloween Horror Nights tribute store facade is completely gone. It's a blank slate once again. And with the summer tribute store still being open, and this being right across from where we will soon have a giant, massive Christmas tree. Do I hear are all the squirrel chittering away in there? Maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll have the Christmas tribute store in here. Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't like, I don't know, but maybe. Most of the scare zone sets and food booths are still up, but they will be gone very soon. But let me know if you got to try the Ghostbusters food. And now the Halloween Horror Nights is over. No more staging for Stay and Scream. No more blocked off parts of the park early for the rest of this year. So that's good. Last night there was Halloween Horror Nights merchandise all over the park at 70% off. And today it's all been transformed. It is full on holidays, Christmas, Grinchmas, everywhere. The Wicked Experience. This was supposed to open in October and it hasn't yet. So clearly there's been some kind of delay. I don't know what. But look at how good this all looks with the emerald green for Alphaba and the pink for Glinda. Glinda, Glinda. Still says, please pardon our dust. So they are still working on it. And since I was last here, they did add these two banners. I'm hoping we're gonna get some yellow brick road in there too. So the movie comes out November 22nd. I saw that there have already been some advanced screenings by like actors who have played Alphaba and Glinda and they have given it really good reviews. So hopefully that bodes well for this. And I'm just excited. Wait, did they theme the food booth too? I don't, I know this kind of like art deco stuff was there, but was this there before? Or did they retheme this also for the Wicked experience? It is possible. That would be cool if so. And I feel like, did they change the flowers too? They look really fresh. <laughs> Maybe that's a stretch, but I feel like they're like yellow brick road in there. There's green and pink and yellow. I don't know, I kind of think they did. But I want to show you what they have put up so far for Wicked in the City Walk store because it's really cool. So I'm going to take you to the Universal Studios store in City Walk because there's so much cool new stuff. And then we're going to go over to Islands of Adventure because there's even more cool new stuff. And just as a little super enthused weather report for you, it's November 4th and it is so hot. The sun is unrelenting. It was like it's cooler at night. It was cool last night and really nice. I mean, not cool, but like cool for Florida. But during the day, it is a very, very warm. It is like shorts and a t-shirt, like keep it light type of weather if you're planning to be here right now. Hopefully it cools off soon, but I haven't seen any like cold fronts coming in the weather reports yet. I'll let you know if any do, but let's go check out a bunch of what's new. This massive Universal Studios store in City Walk is filled with all the latest merchandise usually. They tend to switch it out seasonally but this side of the store is like all Harry Potter. But, just hold on. Christmas. There's a ton of new Harry Potter, Hogsmeade for Christmas, stuff, okay. so much, and it's so pretty. There's so much new Christmas, and I'm gonna show you all of it here and in Islands, because there's just so much. But check this out, look at what they've done. I feel like this is a mini version of what we can expect with the Wicked Experience. This is just a tiny taste, but there's already so much really pretty decoration and theming. And my first look really at the merchandise that they've got going on here. So we have Madame Morble. <gasps> wow. From Fero. Oh, wow. So there are pins here, and these are all Glinda. <gasps> Where's the alphabet ones? And we have like both. Oh, wow, cool. I mean, I'm just glad they don't have the philosophy club. If you know, you know. <laughs> wow, cool. Oh, this is so neat. And luggage, like if you're on the train to Shiz. Oh, there's so much. There's so many sweets and treats. Wow. Marshmallow treats. So cool. French vanilla coffee spoons. Chocolate bars. Wow, super cool. This is kind of my favorite shirt I've seen. A city made of emeralds. It's just simple, you know? I like this one too. Oh, wow. Actually, these are pretty awesome too. Cool, 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 cool. And this too, I think I like this one even better. Should I do it? I haven't even seen the film yet, but oh, what? 
Wait, there's more. Oh my gosh. Wow. These collectible doll sets, it says C team member for assistance. That is Elphaba with Madame Morrible. I mean, you know when you're reading a book and you like hear the names how you read them? So this is how I hear them. I saw the musical once, but it was like in 2015. So uh, yeah, I hear it as Madame Morrible, like horrible. And here's Glinda. Cool. And Nessa Rose, who the character in the book is completely different, but I'm really excited to see how they do this in the movie. And candles. <gasps> Oh, wow. You guys, there's jewelry. Okay, I am like beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You have like the air balloon and the wizard. I'm excited to see how Jeff Goldblum portrays the wizard because we love him. And uh, yeah, the wizard is absolutely crazy. <laughs> wow, pretty. We have like the luggage. Oh, does it open? No, no. <gasps> it does with a butterfly inside. A Wicked Lego set? Well, there's a lot. And Defy Gravity here. It's probably the most popular song from the musical. It's so cool. Okay, let's see, the Wicked Lego set. Oh, there's an even bigger one, wow! <gasps> that is so cool. All right, we've got to do the candle sniff test. They have some out. The Alphaba one, it smells like Interesting. It's like, it does smell like a forest. It smells a little bit like pine and like mist. That long forest journey she goes on in the book at least. And then the Glinda one. Mmm, fruity and sweet. Fun. The way they're described is bewitching banyan forest and perfectly pink yuzu. And there are little ones and big ones. And like the packaging is just so pretty too. All right, now let's take a look at some of the new Christmas merchandise. And I think we'll see even more in Islands of Adventure. But Earl the Squirrel has become the Christmas mascot here at Universal. And he's so fun. He's got his iconic Christmas tree. So you know how Facebook will show you like on this day, like posts that you made on this day and your like memories or whatever and they'll pop up. Yesterday I had an on this day memory pop up from 2020, from yesterday, picking up my like Christmas pass holder magnet. And it said something like, look, did you guys notice that Universal put that little squirrel that pops out of the Christmas tree on this? So that was even before it was like Earl the Squirrel was like widely known or was a thing. It was an Easter egg. It was a hidden detail that only a few of us kind of knew about and noticed. He pops in and out of the big Christmas tree. This was before he was the phenomenon that he is today. And I remember like a few years before that even noticing him, but... I just thought that was so funny. I was like, wow, the little squirrel that pops out of the Christmas tree, really? <laughs> He's become the literal, like him and the Grinch are the Christmas overlords here. And now he's got like a female friend, partner, girlfriend, cousin, I don't know, something. But I was told her name is Pearl the Squirrel. And now he's got a dog to, wait, is that from Back to the Future? It is, oh my gosh, there's so many funny things in here. A happy holidays kind of spirit jersey type of shirt, and it's got little squirrels all over it and his little camper. Nothing but trouble, because you know he gets all wrapped up in the Christmas lights. Now, I saw some of the Hello Kitty holiday stuff recently at Islands, but there's even more. It has a handle and a strap inside. That's beautiful. There's also new Hello Kitty Christmas shirts, ornaments. Wow, so cute. Lanyards and pins and buttons. Super cute. Hats and plushes and sweaters. There's just so much. Also, look at this, some 50th anniversary. <gasps> 50th anniversary Hello Kitty stuff. I know that Universal Hollywood is getting like a whole celebration for this. And this is the first I've seen of anything Hello Kitty 50th here at Orlando. I love that. Oh, wow. It's all just really, really nostalgic and charming. And look, fun. Ooh, almost missed this sweater. Cool, I like the tie at the bottom. That's nice. Now for more of Earl, fun hat. Very cool. I like mesh hats as I've told you guys because it's so hot here. Uh, beanie. All right, now I wanna go over to Islands of Adventure. I have some fun Easter eggs to show you and I know there's gonna be a lot more of all of this. Let's go. Oh, look at this. They have added the Opens May 22, 2025 
to the Epic Universe video playing here on top of the Epic Universe Preview Center. How many times can I say Epic Universe? A lot. Look at that. We have the concept art, the map of the whole thing. I love that there's fireworks there. This is super exciting. Oh no, is it raining? Oh no, wait, let's duck in. Well, actually, I actually do have a quick Epic Universe update for you, so perfect opportunity. And it's about Dark Universe. Dark Universe is one of the five worlds that will be inside of Epic Universe, and it's themed to obviously the Universal Monsters. So recently, Universal released video footage of some of the animatronics that we can expect to see in the Monsters Unchained, the Frankenstein experiment ride inside of Dark Universe. I showed these a little bit in a recent video because I was just so excited and it was the day that they released it. But now we're doing a universal update. We're here at the Epic Universe Preview Center and I have to include that footage here to show you how amazing and lifelike and just fluid they look. They look like people in, in amazing costumes and makeup. They look like they're in a movie. Like they don't even look like audio animatronics, but they are. This is like cutting edge. I feel like they put so much into this. And I'm so excited to see them in the ride and also the Curse of the Werewolf ride. Like, I'm just really excited for this because I love all things Universal Monsters, the old black and white films, the new adaptations, all things spooky and fun, especially Universal Monsters. I'll keep you updated whenever there's anything new about Epic Universe, but I just had to share that. Now let's go over to Islands of Adventure. Oh, it's sprinkling. We're starting to get some afternoon kind of like sun showers, daytime sprinkles, now that we're deeper into the fall, but they pass over pretty quickly. We're going to Islands of Adventure. Universal has been doing something really cool lately, and that is hiding ornaments that are references to extinct attractions here at Universal in the holiday ornaments. And they're up again this year here at Islands. They also do it at Universal Studios. Last year I showed you a bunch of them, really cool. I think my favorite is the Slimer Ghostbusters one, but they have some up already for this year. So let's hunt and see what they have put up so far. Ah, it has begun. So recently I did come out and see a little bit of the holiday decorations. But now it looks like we're going in full force. The halls are being truly, truly decked. And this is just the beginning. Look at that. The port of entry is all lit up. We've got flowers and icicles and the adventure begins. And I am not going to gatekeep where these are for you. I'm going to show you exactly where they are so that you can come and see them too. Take a picture, admire them, go, look, Jackie showed me where that is and enjoy them as much as I enjoy them. And right up here in the front is the first Easter egg. If you look at the corner right here, right outside the main gift shop, the Islands of Adventure Trading Company, you will see a blue ice dragon and a red fire dragon. And that is in reference to Dueling Dragons, the famous roller coaster that's been replaced by Haggard's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventures. And they had a Halloween Horror Nights house for it the year before last. So super cool. Here at Expedition Photography, we can see this beautiful decorations here that are dark blue, this really pretty royal blue and silver. And then over here at sort of the second entrance, we can see a different color of decoration here. There's sort of gold and orange and purple. And right up there, if you look, there's a hidden two swords and a red gem. And those are a reference to the extinct Sinbad show. It was called the Eighth Voyage of Sinbad Show. It was here at Islands of Adventure. The theater is still back there. I don't know what state it's in now, but fairly recently, like within the last year or two, I feel like I saw it and it was still there. Like the set and stage were still there. And it's it was super cool. I wonder what they're gonna do back there, but this is such a neat little tribute to it. Now this front entrance to Expedition Photography also leads into the year-round Christmas store. And I already see so much Christmas merchandise in there that we're gonna look at but there's another Easter egg up in here. Do you see that trident in the wreath right there? What do we think that's for? The famous trident here, an attraction we all miss so much, Poseidon's Fury. Oh, and it also still is standing there. You can still take a picture with the actual trident. It is still there for now. So I highly recommend that you do. But I really love these. They look really like rustic and pretty and foresty and they match with the theme here. But look at this, we've got the Hello Kitty Christmas stuff, even more here. This is like Hello Kitty Central, oh my gosh, the Hello Kitty Christmas trees. All right, let's see what else we've got in here. This is so fun, we actually saw this yesterday and I couldn't wait to come back and show you. So they have 
like a minion here, just like in his little panties here, and you can dress him. They have dress a minion costumes. I'm guessing there are more costumes if you can dress him. And you can dress him like Santa Claus. And because of the one big eye and the hair placement, this must be Stuart. It doesn't say on the tag, but it's gotta be, right? And they've got that, it's that time of the year, minion holiday collection. Ho, ho, ho. Of course they would build a Christmas tree like that. They're minions. And this minion Christmas mug, that's gotta be Otto. With the braces there? Yeah. Okay, so there's some new minions popcorn buckets. This one is a banana, and this is definitely Bob with his teddy bear. Super cute. Oh, cute. But there's a Christmas Bob. He's got a little snowman. Something on him must move his eyes, but he also rolls. The Hogsmeade for Christmas collection has been out for a little bit, so I showed you all of this. Let's see what else is new, though. It just looks like they've added more to it, and it's very, very lovely. And there's so much, and it's so pretty. I love this store. So it is a year-round Christmas store, but they definitely spruce it up and add more and add all of the new Christmas stuff for each year as we approach the holiday season. But their Harry Potter section is immaculate and just full, full, full. <gasps> Ooh, there's so much. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. A ton of new stuff. So we saw some of this over at City Walk, but this was not there. And this is the Earl the Squirrel sweater that he has sometimes been seen wearing. It's I love nuts, chestnuts, whatever you want to call it. Here's a shirt with him and Pearl, we'll call her. We've got a Grinch popping out of the tree. Super cute. Whoa, there's a new Earl bag. <gasps> Look at that. It's got a little chestnut hanging off the side. It's soft. This is like soft fabric material. Beanie, cup, cozy mug. They've got the hat here too. And this, which is like a spirit jersey style. And it's a winter wonderland of Grinch. Grinch, 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 Grinch. The Grinch meet and greet is one of the most popular things here at Universal for the holidays. You gotta do it. The best way that I recommend to meet the Grinch if you really wanna meet him and you don't wanna wait for hours in a line is to book the Grinch and friends breakfast. It is up right now and I checked and I didn't see any dates sold out right now. They have actually moved it back to Circus McGurkis. It was temporarily in another location and it was a buffet but it's not a buffet now. I do plan to go as soon as I can this season so I can show you what it's like but if you really want to prioritize meeting the Grinch and also who's and just have it like in a sit down chill location you get a photo op with him. The breakfast is the way to go. It is worth the money. Otherwise, people are waiting like five, six hours to meet the Grinch. I'm telling you, last year it was Grinch-tastic. It really is a unique meet and greet and like tailors his uh, interactions to the level of like, how cheeky do you want to get? Like, how crazy, how Grinchy do you want to get in here? And he's just so fun and so amazing. So definitely got to try to meet the Grinch if you can. Another way, I think they do it on the holiday tour. I'll update this once I know for sure. But um, you can also check on the website to see like, Sometimes they'll have like a Santa meet and greet or a Grinch meet and greet. And that's also another thing that's like just so worth the money too, so. But there's more, let's go. There's so much Grinch, a new popcorn bucket and hats and shirts and even like boxer short looking things. Yeah, sleepwear as they call it. Ooh, a Mount Crumpet scented candles. What's that gonna smell like? It does smell like peppermint. Oh, it smells really good actually. Lanyards are like those cup holders for your refillable cups, yeah. super cool. Check this out. Max, cute. This is a cool shirt because it has a ton of Easter eggs in it. They just were like, you know what? We're just gonna fill this up. So they've got Earl here reading Mistletoe Pines. Mistletoe Pines was like a shopping area that they made outside. Um, they've done it before in City Walk. Hopefully they'll do it again this year. They've got the actual Earl popping out of the tree. They have a Jurassic Park like the mosquito or bug trapped in amber. They've got a Felix the Cat clock up here. Woody Woodpecker, who's like an original to Universal Studios Parks. We've got a dinosaur in here. What do we got? Like is it a raptor or? Yeah, I think it's blue. I think that's blue in there. Yep, yep, yep. Instead of milk and cookies, it's milk and chestnuts. We have the dog from Back to the Future. That is so funny with the clock on. And here, 
This like box here is like Jack. I think it's meant to represent Jack from um, Halloween Horror Nights. We've got more Back to the Future stuff in here too. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, Jaws, the orca. Wow, I keep seeing more the more I look at it. Let me know if you see anything that I missed because that is super cool. I just keep finding more and more as I look around in here. But we've got a Homer Simpson. Do ho ho. A family, a Simpsons family. Oh, what fun it is. Simpsons holiday decorations. And a Deck the Halls kids shirt with the kids of the Simpsons. Bart, Lisa, and Maggie. There are holiday decorations up all over the place in every land, basically, in Islands of Adventure. Every island, I should say. We've got Dr. Doom's Fearfall. Fear Fallen! Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man still temporarily closed for some enhancements. Toon Lagoon, also all decorated and all pretty. They've also got a lot of the Hello Kitty Christmas merchandise in here, but made our way to Hogsmeade and I want to see what, if any, holiday decorations they have up yet. And we'll also be looking forward to the holiday show on Hogwarts yeah. Castle. As you can imagine, the Harry Potter sections of the park are very popular. There are just lots of people who love it and are in here, but as you can also see, it's decorated. Woohoo! Just very simple and pretty decorations. We have wizards doing spells left and right with the interactive wands. <laughs> Holiday garland lining everything. So you can see the garland and trim here. It's all over Hogsmeade, very pretty. And it's just very simple and natural, like berries and pine cones and pine trees. They even have garland up at Hogsmeade Station. Ah, fun! <laughs> Fountain has awoken and is playing the Ghostbusters song. <laughs> Tigress is out, super cool. And there is the trident, still standing tall. And the show building for Poseidon's Fury is still here too. Such a beautiful part of the park. Hopefully they'll do something super cool with this. And here we go, Mary Mary Seuss Landing, covered and draped in decorations for the holidays and it is starting to rain. So let's like check it out, soak it in. It's so pretty. They do Seuss Landing up just gorgeous. It's already really pretty and colorful in here, um, but it makes it even prettier with the decorations. It's starting to rain really, really, really rainy. So let's run into a store. Oh no, decorations look fantastic. Let's go inside. Hey, fun! They've even got a Grinch's Santa Claus. And Max, of course. This is little reindeer. For Seuss Landing, they go fun and fantastical. There are candy canes and Christmas trees galore. From the ceiling to the floor. <laughs> um, they're even on the doors. And the elephants, too. Because you wouldn't want to leave them out, now would you? They make it look really cartoony, too. Like, just going everywhere, up, down, all around. It's fun. Look at one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. I like these candy canes. Everything is curved. There's no, like, straight lines or hard corners to match with the vision of the world of Dr. Seuss. Look, there's even cat in the hat ornaments. Look at the popcorn booth garland. It has giant, giant kernels of popcorn. Neat. Ooh, oh, I see the Grinch in there. And I see Max in there. Do you see him? That's hidden, that's cool. There's thing one and thing two ornaments too. Trumpets and horns and small bluzels and schwoozles and you know, all that stuff. There's even decorations tucked away where hardly anyone would see them, like on this odd family of deer. I love the colors here because I love vibrant blue and purple like this. And the lights are on and they're twinkling. 
I like these stars on this tree too. Oh, it got so pretty out. And then the pièce de résistance, the Christmas trees. At night, these trees light up with all the bulbs. They're like color changing and moving and really, really pretty. Usually they'll do like an archway across these two. We'll see if they do that. But that is lovely to see. Oh, and look, the green eggs and ham food. Ham has a fresh new sign. Very nice. We've got like a, a rainstorm going on. It's like on and off. Ooh, boy. One more thing. I came back over to Universal Studios because there's something in this store that is not in the other park and not in City Walk and only here that I've got to see. We've got all our Grinch. We've got all our holiday stuff. I'm sure there'll be more to come. And here it is what I've been looking for right now. This is only available here in the store inside Universal Studios. It may later. Uh, come out other places, but they told me these just came out this morning. So these are for the Macy's Holiday Parade, the Universal's, okay, it's called the Macy's Universal's, no wait, it's called the Universal's Holiday Parade featuring Macy's. So it's like a Macy's Parade style. They do it every year for the holidays. It is included with your daytime admission. Like you don't have to pay for a ticket to do this parade and it's gorgeous, but look at how fun this is. Who do we have here? This is Jack the Clown. This is probably my favorite float in the parade, this giant nutcracker. There's like a cup of cocoa. There's all sorts of little cool things. And Earl the squirrel is driving Santa's sleigh. I just think that is so, so, so cute. And they've got it on different shirts. There's also a bag with the same design. There's also ornament. It's got a similar design, but instead it's got Santa just partying with all the stuff around him. Super cool. How oh, fun, and Earl on the other side. There's a gray adult version of the shirt too. And that is just so fun. And then there's also a zip up hoodie. I always love a zip up hoodie because, you know, this is Florida. You gotta zip and unzip all day long. Well, all right, I hope you enjoyed that mega update. It was kind of like a, a mini mega update. There are a lot of different things going on, a lot of new things, but there's still so much more to come. So once that Wicked experience does open, of course I will come out and make a video about it. And the holidays here at Universal start November 22nd. There'll be little things beforehand, like we'll see the merchandise and some decorations and different things like that. But the actual full-on celebration starts then. And of course I will come out to make a video about it. And you can check out my past year's videos too to get an idea of the parade and Grinchmas and all of these things. And they are all included, again, with your ticket to Universal. There's no like special separate party ticket you have to purchase or anything. Thing, which is just incredible that they offer all of that. Of course, if you want like breakfast with the Grinch, that costs money. If you want to do a holiday tour, there are different separately ticketed things that you can do. And pretty much all of them are really worth the money and reasonably priced for what you get for them. I think that Universal does the holidays so beautifully. Both parks are decorated. There's all sorts of fun, different things going on. You can watch the Grinchmas show, meet the Grinch. You can see the special holiday projection show on Hogwarts Castle, and of course, the holiday parade featuring Macy's with those amazing floats are just incredible. Of course, there will also be new food and drinks and fun things like that, so I'll show you those too, so stay tuned. And until then, I'll keep talking about all the updates, things at Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, Epic Universe. Let me know what you're most excited to see as we're moving into this next season, into November and December. Here or anywhere, really, I'd love to know so that I can make sure to work it into my plans. I try to just do everything, and I have a huge list, a never-ending list of things that I want to do. So if I see you say something that's on my list, maybe I'll rank it up if enough people say it. All right, so thanks again for hanging out with me. I am sending you a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay enthused. Bye.